This is no longer Sim Racing Tip Mondays. It's Sim Racing Tip Fridays. So your tyres have limited grip. When you're fully braking at high speed in a straight line, you're using 100% of the tyres grip to slow the car down. 100% of the grip is being used longitudinally. If you turn the steering wheel while braking this much, the car won't turn because it has no grip left to provide laterally. You want to be using as much of the tyres grip as you can through the turn, so this is what you do. You're in the braking zone and you're hard on the brakes. As you begin to turn, you need to begin lifting off of the brakes so that the tyres have more available grip to provide laterally as you turn. As a rough example, when you lift your brake pressure back to 90%, you are no longer using 100% of the tyres grip in a straight line. There is now a tiny bit of grip available for you to use for turning. One thing to note is that brake percentage is not the same percentage of tyres grip that you are using. Sometimes the optimal braking force where you are using 100% of the tyres grip is less than 100% of the brake pressure. And when you are using less than this optimal braking force, then you have the extra grip for turning. You want to be using as close to the 100% of available grip as possible. So as you are lifting more and more off of the brake pedal, you want to be turning more and more into the corner until you are at your optimal steering angle. At this point you can still use around 10% of the brakes to keep the weight at the front of the car which gives you more front grip because there's more weight pressing down on those front tyres. Too much brake and you'll be taking some of the lateral grip away and you'll be straightening up and you'll be understeering in the braking zone. This transition from full brakes to optimal steering input happens very quickly and you'll have to spend time learning to feel how this transition works. After you practice it, watch your replays and monitor your inputs to see how well you transition from brakes to turning. Once the front of the car is biting and pulling to the apex, depending on the type of turn, then you can maybe coast towards the apex or begin to accelerate out of the turn. Remember that accelerating also use the tyres available grip, so only begin to accelerate when the front tyres begin to unload, otherwise you'll push the car into understeer. Thanks for watching, I have other tip videos on my channel as well, so make sure to check those out too. Uh, if you're suffering from any kind of sim racing burnout or exhaustion, then I'm starting to do a series about that and you can also check that out as well. I'll see you again very soon and again thank you for watching.